Hey, what's going on everybody? This your boy Tremaine Long and I wanna welcome you guys back to my channel. So listen, today I have something very exciting and special planned today. We are going to do a Q&A session and I'm going to answer all the questions that y'all have out there for me, all right? So y'all gonna get to learn a little bit more about me today. So before we get into that, what I need y'all to do is I need y'all to subscribe to my channel, give me that big thumbs up, share and leave a comment if you like gospel music or just like music in general, all right? I'm ready to answer these questions for you guys, all right? So let's get to it, man. Let's get started, all right? Yeah. What's the first question we have? The first question we have is, where are you from? Okay, so I'm originally born in Virginia, uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, but my mother moved me and my sisters to Atlanta, Georgia, so I was raised there with, like since I was like six years old. So technically, man, I'm a Georgia boy. So with that being said, what's the next question? It says, what is your view on gospel artists doing music outside of gospel music? Okay. I think this is a good question. I think it's a real good question. So for me, I can't speak on nobody else, but for me, um, what God has always told me when I was trying to transition from secular to do gospel, um, God told me I have free reign to do music. Long as my music is not um, going against him or turn down his kingdom. So with that being said, I can do an R&B song. I can do uh, influential, inspiring songs. Every song don't have to be Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't really see a problem with doing music outside of gospel music unless you have a foundation, um, unless you have boundaries with it. Also, also too, I don't like, I, I feel like if I'm going to do a song and I can't play it in a car with my kids, I probably don't need to be doing it. Like, if I'm cringing by my kids listening to it, yeah, that probably ain't the type of music I need to be doing anyway. So let's go to the next question. The next question is, can you share your earliest memory of gospel music and how it influenced your decision to become an artist? All right, gospel music was not my influence to become an artist. <laughs> it was not. Um, I was doing secular music before I started doing gospel music. I wasn't, I, I did grow up listening to gospel music, but that's not what gravitated me to become an artist. My early memories of gospel music was John P. Key, The Commissions, Fred Hammond, even though he was in The Commissions, um, Donnie McClurkin, Kurt Franklin, those were the people that my earliest memories of gospel music but my influence to help me to transition from secular to to gospel music was the cray was the truth was flame a lot of people don't talk about flame and the truth that much but those gospel rappers and ken jones i was very fortunate to even to work with ken jones on his kingdom business part five and a group that he had called the free life boys those were my influences and those were my earliest memories of gospel music so the next question who are some of your gospel artists or songs that have significantly influenced your music style and why okay so all these gospel questions uh, <laughs> So what? This, so really, for me, um, the gospel artists that kind of help shape how I do gospel music is, like I said, those guys, the Lecrae's, the the Flames, and the Truth. Those three guys were the first three gospel rappers that I seen how they was putting the word into their music. I learned so much from their songs and it helped um, shape it how I formulate my songs. I want my songs to really impact your life. Those are my influences and how they influence my style. So when it comes to the style part though, my style came from the secular world. So um, my sound and my style come from a mixture of different artists. So you probably hear a little bit of music Soul Child in my, in my music. You may hear a little Tank, you may hear a little Ryan Leslie, 
Timberland, some Lil John every once in a while. You may hear some of those guys. You may hear a little Silk and some little Jodeci. You may hear some of that. Hey, you may even hear a little commissions. It makes my style. Um, and also, like, it's a person y'all probably don't know of like that, but his name Black Boy The Sheep. Uh, I learned a lot from him. That's my brother, man. I, I learned a lot from him when it comes to music. So hopefully that answered that question. All right, so let's look at let's look at um, this next question. How does your faith influence your songwriting and the messages you want to convey in your music? All right, my faith influenced my songwriting a lot. So let's go back to that statement that I said earlier. Uh, when it comes to what God told me, I have free range to do music as long as what I'm talking about is not tearing down this kingdom. So my foundation is God's word. My why is I want to have an impact and help people. So if I'm going to do an R&B song, it's going to be done in the way that is uplifting, have, having a relationship in the right way. It's not going to be about fornication when you're not married. My stuff is more focused on relationships uh, with a husband and a wife or talking about the process going into dating. So that's kind of how I do my personal music when it comes down to that. And when it comes to the word of God, I want to make sure that I'm when I'm singing, I'm singing the word of God based off my understanding of the word. I'm not just singing something because somebody else said it. I actually studied um, study the word and I try to make sure that I put what I study into my music. The next question, what challenges have you faced in your music journey and how has your faith helped you overcome them? Okay, so I had a lot of different challenges. Um, one of the challenges that I don't mind sharing is my why. Why do I do music? The issue that I had was my motive. My motive was off. I wanted people to see me. Look at my runs I can hit. Look at my notes. Look at, and it wasn't about glorifying my father, um, glorifying Jesus Christ. It wasn't about none of those things. I wanted I wanted people to see me. So now that I have humbled myself and I made sure that my why is lining up with the purpose that God has created me, um, it makes it easy for me to do this. Making money from this is good. It's great to make money for my music. I can make, make a living do what I love to do, right? But if I didn't have no money, I'd rather just do this because this is what my father told me to do at the end of the day. And I trust him to take care of me at the end of the day. Can you share a particular performance or a moment in your career that you found especially meaningful and transformative? That was a, that's an awesome question. Okay, so I have one particular event that I went to. I was at an event with my brother in Christ, Terrell Watson. But the thing was, we did a show called Rock the Lake. Uh, this probably happened like 2016. And we did a show called Rock the Lake. And, um, and he told me to do this song that I had called Help Somebody. Y'all can find that song on Apple Music. And it's when you find you gotta just put in Tremaine. Just put in Tremaine Clear. The album's called Clear and the song called Help Somebody. Um, that's when I was just going by Tremaine, wasn't going by my full name, Tremaine Long. He asked me, like, bro, sing this song. And um, that song dealt with my childhood traumas. So I ended up singing that song and um, before me and him left that concert, um, the man that owned the owned the property and everything, he came to us and was like, hey, listen, a lot of people gave their life to Christ and they said that they gave their life because of that song that your friend, which he was talking to Terrell, I didn't know the man, but he was like, your friend um, Tremaine sung the Help Somebody song. A lot of people gave their life to Christ because of that. So that was a blessing because my testimony helped somebody. And and that was a um, moment in my career that I find meaningful and transformative because I was able to transform people's life by giving my testimony. I think that's it, man. I, I think that's, y'all learned, learned a lot about me in this short little period of time. 
we may do this again too so if y'all ever want to just put something in the comments y'all want to know more if y'all got more questions put something in the comments and if it's enough questions then guess what i'll do i'll come back and do another q a all right um but yeah but with that being said man i want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video i pray that you got something good from this um you learned more about me uh, I wanted to connect, man. So listen, I got more content coming. Um, we're gonna we're doing more. I want to help artists out there that's independent, people that are trying to get into this. They don't know where to start. I want to help you guys on that and just give y'all the things that I have done to help me. Um, I have not uh, arrived, but I do have years of experience of of being an artist, being a producer. Um, you know, and trying to navigate through this industry to do what God called me to do. So if you want to be, I got some stuff coming for you, man. We got some, I got a, another thing too, man. I do have an album I am working on called Legendary. And uh, I thank y'all for really like um, um, listening to my Holy Strap song, listen to Be Holy, and listen to Can't Get Enough Picture and Sharandon. Um, I thank y'all for really like vibing with that, man. So like those videos are doing pretty good right now, man. So I thank you guys for really the people that's been subscribing in a short period of time. I thank y'all for that as well. So with that being said, man, once again, please, if you made it this far, I thank you. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment and share this video with somebody. Let somebody know about Tremaine Long. Let somebody know about what is going on right here because guess what? We moving for God, baby. Yeah, man, I love you guys. Keep God first and God bless. All right, peace. Ooh.